Hi, I'm here at the Ericsson booth at Mobile World Congress, and joining me is Anders Lindblad from Ericsson. Now, Anders, Ericsson has announced a lot of new cloud initiatives at the show. Can you tell us what they entail? Yeah, I think it's uh, really exciting for Ericsson to be here, also in a little new shape. Uh, entering into the ICT space with uh, big steps, I think. Uh, we've actually introduced a hyperscale cloud system uh, with a partnership with Intel, where we're introducing some real novelties on how you build data centers for the future. Uh, it's about making them more efficient, able to distribute them across geographies, and at the same time putting on software on top that actually makes you manage them in a very, very controlled and simple way. What does a partnership mean for your service provider customers? I think this gives the service providers uh, an industrialized version of what the, the big cloud players have been doing in the infrastructure time for some time. So we're actually giving the service providers an opportunity to buy an industrialized version of what Amazon and Google have. IP has been another big topic here at the show. How is Ericsson focusing on IP? The IP routing space uh, uh, is becoming more and more relevant to the future because practically the future networks becomes extremely fast access points that are mobile. So you need to go to high speeds uh, at the access end and then data centers where you need to have closeness to the applications. The connection between the two becomes more and more relevant, which means that you have to have really high speed routing capabilities in both ends. So what we launched here in uh, Mobile World Congress now is a metro aggregation space that tightly coupled from an industry design and also, of course, the 100 gigabit uh, uh, capabilities very close to the base stations, software that runs across, and a virtuous router that you can chip into the data center to make sure that you manage it end to end. There's already been a number of dramatic changes in our industry. What, what's the future look like to you? Yeah, vision for the future. It's, it's, a, it's a big world, I think, but what I fundamentally think we are trying to introduce here is a way for many more value chains to enter into a totally new way of executing what we call workloads. That means that the, the vision in my mind is that no enterprises, no consumers will actually need a server or a computer in the end. It will all be available readily in the cloud through our fantastic access technology which will make everything more efficient quicker, securer, and more manageable. All right, Anders, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers.